So I'm going to take you through the steps of doing a literature review. So this is going to be completely live, so I don't know how it's going to turn out. So I've given myself the topic of looking at video game violence. So the first thing is, you're thinking about what is video games violence? Where can I find out about it? What can I find out uh, to start with? Where should I begin? So Wikipedia, honestly, is not that bad an idea to start with. So I go to Wikipedia and I then look up video game violence. So it's got quite a long entry. Uh, it says violence and video games. So before video games, I don't know how you can have video game violence before video games, but anyway. 1970s and 80s, 1990s, Mortal Kombat, uh, Jack Thompson lawsuits, whatever those are, Columbine High School Massacre, which was one of those high school mass shootings that they have in America where they were supposed to be bowling, hence the film Bowling for Columbine, and they instead came with a load of uh, automatic weapons and killed people at their school. It was also said that they'd played video games and that caused a lot of investigation of video games in the media. So in the 2000s, you've got Grand Theft Auto, another school shooting, Call of Duty, um, Sandy Hook, another school shooting, uh, Hallis Synagogue, another shooting, but this time they actually recorded it as a live first person experience. And then you've got uh, studies and these particular uh, studies to do with primary studies, meta-analyses, uh, functional MRI, and studies on the effect of crime. So here they've got a background section, and then we go through the history, and so on. Now, the key thing about Wikipedia is it shouldn't be one of your references. So there are just starting points that you can come from that you can start to look at. So you can see that the American Psychological Association has uh, some views on this, saying that maybe there's an increase in aggression. So that's interesting. But the thing that you really want to look at is this bit at the bottom, which is the actual evidence and things which back up the article and to look if there's any interesting starting points. So you saw that there's the scientific evidence here. So where is it? So here we go. Negative effects of video games. There are a set of theories and modeling behaviors uh, that players try to imitate the behaviors, behavior that they see in the games. So the idea is playing violent video games gives you an opportunity to practice that act of violence. So if you think about the attack on the Twin Towers, they played flight simulators so that they could practice attacking the Twin Towers. But that was just for practical reasons. So if I have a video game that happens to have exactly the same layout as a particular building or a particular set of buildings or a city, then I can go through it and simulate and say, oh, this is what would happen if I machine gunned loads of people in the center of Dallas, for example. But most of the time, that's not what they're there for. They're not there for simulation. So some scholars have criticized the general aggression model. So the GAM is going to be important, general aggression model, uh, arguing that the model wrongly assumes the aggression is primarily learned and the brain does not distinguish reality from fiction. Um, so some studies have explicitly claimed to find evidence against the GAM. So studies 84, 85 and 86. So if I go down to here and I find 84 and 5 and 6, what are they? 84, social context and video game play impact on the cardiovascular and effects, uh, effective responses from mass communication and society. Uh, Violent video games, the effects of narrative context and reward structure and in-game or post-game aggression. And this third one, which is, does playing video games with violent content temporarily increase aggressive inclinations, a pre-registered experimental study. 
that one hasn't got a link directly, but it's got a DOI number. So if I click on that, hopefully it'll take me to the paper. Anyway, ooh, looks like we might have access through the University of, Ec of Westminster. Let's have a look. We do, you can get the PDF of that particular article. So Wikipedia, although it's not the thing that I'm actually uh, going to look at, has given me a starting point to go to. So it's pointed me to this particular paper, which I'm going to download. Now, while I'm downloading it, because I happen to have Zotero, which is a referencing software already installed, I'm going to add that to my Zotero library. I can do that by clicking on this thing over here, which says save to Zotero. Oh, cancel. First thing I have to do is actually get Zotero running. Now I would strongly suggest using Zotero as opposed to any other piece of software that you might have been told to use. So you open Zotero and it looks like this. Well, when it gets around to loading things, now I have these particular documents and these are down in my normal uh, research library. So what I'm gonna do is create a new library. So file, new collection, new set of data, which is going to be on video, game, violence. This allows me to have multiple collections of uh, different articles so that if I know which project I'm working on which thing I'm investigating I can go to the one that I want to so I'm going to go to there let's close down the other ones oh that's an epic now I want to add that article to Zotero so I click on the save to Zotero button uh, do you want does this want to go to there video into video game violence yes I wanted to do there <sighs> It's now going for the wrong thing. Is that on the PDF? I can't. Ah, this is where I wanted it to be when I did the save to Z save to Zotero. That's better because it will now save the particular article. Hopefully, if I go to Zotero, is it there? It is. In fact, it's there twice. Uh, which one's the has it done it properly so when I did it on the PDF it saved it incorrectly because it couldn't extract it couldn't extract the information about the authors and so on so from this page it can't extract anything because this is just a PDF from this page because it's actually a web page it can extract the information that it needs so it's extracted the information, so it tells you that the first author is Randy McCarthy, then it's Sarah Coley, Michael Wagner, Bettina Zengel, and Ariel Basham. It's in this publication, Journal of Experimental Social Psychology, volume 67, pages 13 to 19. It's a journal article, and this is its title. So it's managed to extract all that information and put it into Zotero, which is good for me, because we'll come back to using Zotero later when we're going to add some notes to it because I'm going to use that as the note taking place you don't have to you can use other note takers but it's a good idea to have it all together right so that was the first one so back to the Wikipedia page so now I've got that one so I want to get the next one above it which is this final video games effect of narrative context and reward mm, it's not accessible to me through the DOI now is it accessible to me by pressing on that link it might be because it's available in a site called semantic scholar and I can click on PubMed to see if I can get it there as well Ooh, the only full text link is in the APA and to use get the APA I have to get access 
and to get access is going to cost me $14.95. And much as I might want to read that particular article, I don't want to read it $14.95 worth of reading. So what's the next one? So that was 86, 85, and this is 84. This one, the authors have put into ResearchGate, so I can actually download that particular paper, even if I can't get it at the journal, and there it is. I've downloaded a photocopy of the thing which is done sideways. Very helpful, but at least I can read it. So I have got that. So that's the second article and it's down. So I can save that one. Right, that's two. Actually, I stupidly missed to see could I find it in Semantic Scholar. Do they have it in Semantic Scholar so that I can download it or do I have to join this site? If you're on PubMed, don't want to. Is there anything here? The other way of getting to it? Save to library, citations. No. Interesting though, it says related papers. So I can actually look at what might be related to this particular subject. Right, now let's go back. As you can see, this is not a linear process. As you go through these things, you find some things are interesting and you follow them up. You find some areas are not so interesting, you don't follow it up. So remember that there was one particular uh, thought, one particular model uh, that was done, which is this general aggression model. Now, depending on your supervisor, it depends on where they're going to tell you to go to. So you just saw that there is PubMed. So I can go to PubMed and I can type in general aggression model and do a search. And this tell gives me 7,742 uh, research articles that come out of this. So there is a general thing about it, written in 2018, so this looks like it's a review. It's the current opinions in psychology, so it's possibly a useful thing to get because it's likely to give me an overview which I can understand and it's not going to have masses of very complicated um, technical terms in it because current opinion journals give you that overview. They're sort of like literature reviews in themselves. If I go to that, can I get hold of it? Mm, possibly it's in Elsevier. Let's see. I can view the PDF. So let's add this one to Sotero. Saving to video game violence, that's fine. And I'll go to the PDF and I'll download that one. So now I've got how many? One, two, three, three articles so far. Stupid me while I was doing this, I forgot to. Actually, I might not be able to get when I did that, got that second one. Uh, the third one, sorry. This one, I'm not sure if I can get it from here. Social context and video game play. So I'm not sure whether it's saved it properly into Zotero. So I need to have a look at this. So let's see, journal article, social contents of video play, Ballard and Jokoi and Visa. So it looks like it's got it properly. Oh, this is saying you get it from ResearchGate. Uh, the journal is for, it's got the journal article correct. It's got the title and everything else. Uh, the library catalogue's wrong, that's not going to be in your reference, so it doesn't particularly matter. So now I've got these three things in my references. We're doing well. Now I've got that general aggression model uh, guide. So how it works. So this is biological, environmental, this is your personality, and then it's got all those things, and you reappraise, and how it works. Great. So I can start to understand what it means by having this or not having this close these windows because I'm starting to get too many. Let's go back again. Oh, I was in PubMed. PubMed. 
general regression model. So I've got that first article. Next one is a theoretical framework for anti-gay review of established and hypothesis hypothesized effects within the context of the general regression model. I'm not into homophobia. Uh, I'm looking at video game violence, so that's not relevant to me. So I'm going to need to add something to my search term. So I'm going to add video game to it. Ha! Huh. That takes me down to only having 43 results. Violent video games effects on aggression, empathy and pro-social behaviour in Eastern and Western countries a meta-analytic review. Meta-analysis, good it's the highest level of evidence that you can get. So let's click on that and see if we can get it. Uh, it's got the APA, which means I really doubt that we're going to be able to get hold of this article. So I click on it. Again, it's get access. And again, it's 14.95. So no, not really. Now, this is a problem that I have with uh, using PubMed. Uh, so what's that? The title of that particular article it's called that now there is an alternative to PubMed which is Google Scholar which is not done by that it's scholar google.com so now if I type the name of that article I found in PubMed into Google Scholar and I search for it uh, it tells me it's here. It, says, it tells me it's cited by 2,613 papers, so it is very important. It also tells me that I can only get it from the APA, so again, it leads me to needing to pay this 14.95 to get hold of it. So unfortunately, there is no way that I can access it through um, any other source either. Now. What was I searching for in PubMed? I was looking for a general regression model and video game. So if I go to Google Scholar and type in exactly the same thing, general regression model and video game, I get 88,000 hits. So I'm getting quite a lot more hits uh, than I did before. I've still got as, no, as the top one, the general regression model, which is the one I got before. Um, here's video, violent video games and hostile expect expectations, a test of the general regression model. So I can click on that one. This goes to Sage Journals. I'm going to decline all this time. And uh, this looks like it's a downloadable PDF. So I can get this one. Yay. I've got another article that I'm adding to my collection. And I can add it to my Zotero again. I clicked on it and Sage and it's actually grabbed the full text so I didn't need to click through. So here you see that I'm adding all the time to my uh, references. Where it can actually get hold of the reference and download it, you'll see that it has a PDF icon here. Uh, if it's in green, it's uh, if it's in bl a blue dot, then if it is accessible, it'll tell you and it'll go and grab it itself. If not, you can grab it various other ways. Right, that's another one. Paradigm change in whatever. Now, I've got 88,600 hits. That's looking like I'm going to get swamped by... Uh, the number of returns. So let's try and tweak this particular heading. So change it to uh, general regression model and video game in speech month. So that means that I now have to have general regression model together as words in a sentence and video game as words together in a sentence. Now if I do the search on that, it's much more specific and gives me a better set of results. So now I've got 1,990, which is still a lot, um, but a lot better. If I put an and there, does that make it any better? No, it doesn't. It changes the order of which they came out, but it doesn't actually make that much of a change. 
Right, let's hope that's a book. Don't want a book. Well, let's have a see. Looks like he's got the entire book as a PDF. That would be interesting. University of New Hampshire. Oh, it's a PhD di dissertation in psychology. So I can refer to that if I want to. But that's about 300 pages worth. How much? Oh, it's quite short. 120 pages. So I can download that if I want to. And again, I can add that to my Zotero. Oh, sorry, there, like clicking up here. Let's go back one. Can't that Bushman and Anderson seem to be writing all of these articles? Ah, oh, somebody's saying it's time to re retire the general aggression model. So that looks like an interesting. And they're talking about paradigm change. So they're talking about maybe that model's not very good. So we should change it to something else. So perhaps that's an interesting line of investigation. So I'll grab that article too because that could be important, but I won't know until I've read it. So again, add it to my Zotero. Now, let's go back to uh, Google Scholar. Oh, I haven't. So I want to go. So if I type in video game, since I type in video game, the next thing that comes up is that the next words that people are searching for is violence, addiction, effects, benefits. So violence is the big thing. So if I click on video game violence, I can see that there seems, there's this fairly important. The first article that comes up is by Dill and Dill. Aggression and violent behavior. And it's available from Science Direct. So let's try getting that one. Now, this is an old article from well, 1998. So very old for all of you, not so old for me, but certainly video games have changed a lot since 1998. They're a different order. So that's interesting historically, but it might not be too relevant uh, to the reality of today. Um, now, if I'm on a page of Google Scholar like this, and when I add it to um, Zotero, instead of having a single text thing, I've got a little folder here. So now I can actually click on all of the articles that I want that are on this page. So I can click on all of these. If I decide that I'm going to go and look at them later and press OK, now they're all in my Zotero. Well, it should be. Yes, they've all been added. So now I see if I can get these all. Get the next one. Oh, actually, if I go back to Zotero, can it get these things for me? Yes. Is that one available? So it will have a look to see if you can get it. Uh, still having a look. Go and have a look for all of these for me. Okay. available to defections an interesting thing phenomena so I can use the links that come out of uh, Zotero to actually find them by double clicking on them if it can find something Ooh get access as usual, so we'll not do that one. That one we've already got, so I don't, oh, that one it's got for me. Bartholomew Easton. 
Does that mean I've got two of the same one? I don't think so. Right. Still looking for that one. That's another pay. So. But I've got all these in. Now, when you're doing a literature review, people ask, how many do I need? Well, it depends on the subject. So as you see from this, I could quite easily do thousands and thousands, uh, depending on how much time I want to spend on it. Again, that's a get access, so we're not having that one. Uh, so first you need to r read some of the early, or either an early article or an overview article so you know what the subject's about and then you need to decide what's going to be an interesting theme. If you've got too many articles then you need to make it more focused and change your title to tweak it to a small part of that area. If you've got too little information um, then you need to expand your topic. It's a question of judgment and that's what we're assessing as part of the module. We're assessing how good you are at judging things and making those decisions. Now, video game violence, remember as well, when I was in here, they've got, so scientific debate and they're talking about primary studies. So in 1998, they looked at these uh, things in childhood and they started investigations in the 90s longitudinal analyses, then there's meta-analyses. But this was the thing that I also wanted to pull up on, which is functional MRI studies. So these are the latest kind of things that people are um, hot about, which is studying how the brain actually reacts and its happiness and, and its simple limbic system reacts to game. So this is the thing of functions of the amygdala. Amygdala, sorry. Right, so let's put in here fMRI. So this will show the search, uh, the studies which have used fMRI to look at video game violence. So this is somebody in the general neuroscience who's saying violence related content in video games may lead to changes in the brain networks as revealed by using fMRI in uh, young men. So let's see if we can get that one. So I might decide that I'm going to do my review on fMRI in um, the connection to video game violence. So I've grabbed this particular article and again mustn't forget to add these articles to my Zotero. I'm going to select all actually. Press OK, so it's grabbed all of them. Now, if I put that same search into PubMed, what do I get? No results, because it probably doesn't like those speech marks. So let's take those off. So video rain violence and fMRI, I only end up with 14 results. Uh, again, I could have used Zotero here to Pick it and select them all. Press OK. So I've only got page one and I've got page two here, so I can just grab everything from those two pages and add them to my Zotero. So when you have your reference in Zotero, you can see here is the abstract. So the abstract is the summary of that piece of work. So I can just look at that summary and then decide if I actually really need to read the entire article. So sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. Oh, I love Zotero. So you can see Zotero is finding whether these articles are available as PDFs and it's grabbing them for me if they do exist as an accessible uh, PDF. Fantastic. So that makes your life a lot easier.